What's up? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, Look at this place. My goodness. My power just went out. Oh. As you uh, noticed. And uh, every time this power goes out, it resets all the settings on this. There we go. Hey, welcome to the studio. We just did a, a podcast. When's the podcast going to be up? Um, podcast will be up in like uh, real soon, like three, four months. <laughs> Has it launched yet? No, it hasn't even, I haven't even launched episode one yet. Have you even announced it? Um, I may have said, mentioned it. Do I have to cut this out of this video? No, 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 put it in there. <laughs> There's a podcast channel somewhere, you can find it. Okay. Um, no videos on it right now, but maybe there is right now when you go over there. But yeah, we just did one, it was fun. You're a drum guy. Yeah, I love drums. Uh, I'm curious what you're using. Kit, microphones, preamps. Give me the dirt. All right, so I'm trying out this new, kit from Ludwig, it's called New Sonic. It's like a 2.0 of their New Sonic series. And um, it's different dimensions than the kit I've been using. So right now what's happening is I'm, I just did a test where I'm trying out the kit as is. Nothing on the heads, no hole in the front head, just put the kit up, tune the drums and just seeing how they sound, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the studio magic. I'm gonna cut the hole in the front head, put some gaff tape, get damp in, do the whole thing, make it sound rock and roll, uh, and then compare the two. So, uh, what's funny is like the kick in mic is just sitting here cause there's, there's no, no hole. hole. So, um, but this, uh, this is the Loudon Audio Clarion mm. FET. I can't, like you'd be stunned with how huge this kick sounds, even though it's little, it's just a little guy. But, um, but with this mic only, one mic kick out, no hole, sounds like rocks the whole room. It's crazy. Amazing. Uh, but generally, I'll stick this inside. I've been liking this one lately. Yep. The Beta 91A. Use that on every drum kit I, I record. Um, some sort of fat on the outside. I love this one out here. Um, this is more like a 47 mono kit style thing. This mm -hmm. is the Fet 47 from Warm. Snare, I have top and bottom, top, Bio Dynamic M201. That's the jam. Uh, this is one, like one of the most useful mics ever. I Wasn't agree. you who said it's like a 57 for adults? It's what a 57 should have sounded like. Yeah. Um, bottom mic, a little bit of a flex. Sennheiser 441. It's juicy. A 441 on the bottom. Yeah, it's 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 just a great bottom mic. Also another like the 201 a great mic i use it on bass cab and it sounds oh, yeah. awesome on bass cab they sound awesome on everything like really that's like it's a classic great vocal mic yeah it's a great vocal mic it's a classic but i don't feel like it's getting the love it once did i mean it's like you know in a sense 57s is like no one's really making new content on 57s but right uh, talking about them, but we use them all the time. Uh, Tom's C414s. These are the XLS version. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got 12 dB pads on them, no roll offs. Excellent. They sound beautiful. These are the C12 copies from Warm. The CX12s? Them, yep, they're in some sort of spaced pair arrangement. Uh, what pattern? Cardioid? Cardioid. Yep. Uh, Hat, SM7, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, okay, and then over here. Now this is the magic sauce here. This is, and it's kind of hidden because everything's black. Mm -hmm. But this is essentially an R88 from AEA, but it's in two microphone bodies. Mm. Uh, it's an N8 stereo kit. So two ribbon mics, and they're in this sort of blum line, whatever that is, mm -hmm. arrangement. And uh, just over the stairwell here, kind of in the corner where there's a lot of just a lot of chaos, energy. Yeah. chaotic energy, yeah. And uh, those are being smacked, like really spanked, by this Audioscape G stereo comp um, VCA compressor, and it's like really, really spanking them nice. on the way in. Uh, it sounds super duper good. Uh, also, while we're over here, I use the the bass cab hits this 
EQP. Yeah. Mm. I've been meaning to get a video out on these. So nice. there's a little preview. Um, excellent bass EQ. I mean, obviously, Poltec. Poltec right style, on, yeah. On anything. Um, but yeah, those, just these, it's 11, 12 mics, mm -hmm. um, is everything that I could possibly need to hear. You could do more for fun. Obviously, you don't need any more. You could for sure use less. Yeah. But this is like, I know we can get a bunch of different sounds with this setup here. Um, tight, calm, chaotic, loud, yeah. big, pumpy, fun. Um, what uh, what kind of preamps are you rocking? So, um, so I'm going to put links down below for all the gear that Andrew showed off in this video. Those links go to Sweetwater, which I just happen to be at right now. Uh, you can get just about anything you ever need from Sweetwater. And if you use any of the links in the description below to buy anything that you need, it really goes a long ways to help support this channel and help keep making me videos to help, help me keep making videos just like this. So thank you for using those links anytime you guys need anything. Now, back to the video. I am mostly rocking these Tridents. Uh, I have this is the Trident 68 console here, uh, 24 channels, and everything's hitting the pre's here, except for the kick and snare. I wanted to try just kick and snare on these. I don't really know if I have uh, it wasn't like crazy better or worse. Mm -hmm. um, they're fairly close as far as quality goes. Um, what this thing really shines is in um, like the imaging for the overheads and the rooms. Mm. It just, I don't know, man. There's some sort of magic with the overhead and rooms on these. The toms sound fantastic. Uh, kick and snare sounded really great on this. Um, I was just going to like clear out some of these warms um, and maybe put some compressors in there or something and mm -hmm. only rock this, but I'm tempted to switch my I.O. setup soon. Mm -hmm. And if I switch to the Symphony, then I may want channels 1 and 2 open ah. for just default playback or something like that. Got it. So I'm still kind of like, eh, maybe I'll use those on the kick and snare or whatever. Yeah. But either way, I've used the warms for years on drums. They sound great. The Trident kicks ass on drums. Sounds so good. Um, I'm also using the Trident on literally everything else. Bass, aux, vocals, Juno, uh, guitar amp, close and far. Mm. I have the M201 on the cabinet, and then I usually have a mic here the Mojave MA-1000 for like a guitar room mic. Oh, nice. Which is a luxury. Beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Killer. That's the, the drum mic sound. Obviously, drum sounds come down to the sound of the drums. I mean, the mics yep. and the input is one thing, but... Um, the room and the kit. The room, the kit, and the performance. Yep. But the, really, the kit, man. I mean, sw just swapping between like the bell brass mm -hmm. and like the... This is Ludwig's new universal uh, metal snare. It's kind of like a Black Beauty thing. Uh, this so far has been my favorite. Oh, that's cool. Guy from them. It's a five and a half, and it just it's, it's rock and roll. Like, that's and awesome. You, you set it down, and it's just like, oh, now we're in rock world, and the yeah. Gretsch is like the fat, deep pop, just yeah, 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 you know, thing. And I've got another Black Beauty from CNC over there. The WFL three. Amazing. Um, cool. Yeah, swapping out the drums. That's anyway. I could literally talk about this forever. I you know. Want to keep that, going? That's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you have a, a drum sample pack, right? Yeah, the, I have a sample pack. It's called the Studio Kit. It's actually with my WFL3 drums, which are the really pretty ones over here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a little bit fatter and more of what you would expect as like the house studio kit. That's why I call it Studio Kit. I'm not yeah. super good at naming things, but just very predictable 22 by 14 kick, just mm -hmm. knock and you know ass. And then the snare is just 
it's the bell brass, so it's that fat, t- nice. tight, you know, um, kind of dead thing. Toms, yeah. there's 600 plus loops in there. How long did that take? <sighs> I'm never doing another pack again, dude. <laughs> it took months. It took so long. I spent a bunch of time on the sounds because I was like, yo, I want to use these yeah, yeah. on all my projects, and I want them to be that thing that I'm looking for, like, right away. Uh, and also for the loops, like I, I want to write songs, so I want like beats that I loops love that you would use that I could put in that I know is like oh perfect this yeah. is a one ten BPM, one thirty BPM whatever eighty totally some shuffles and stuff. So yeah, that's that is uh, thirty five bucks on my site and will soon be available um, with another company drum sample shop. It's not there yet, but it'll I'm gonna do a partnership and move it over there. And, nice. Uh, but yeah, that's that was a fun one, and Very I'll, cool. I'll never ever do that again. <laughs> so this is your one chance to own I Andrew made, Masters sample pack. I made it, and I was like, "Cool, I'm done. <laughs> we did it. It's now I can use it forever." And on to the next. Yeah, let's go back to having fun and enjoying life. <laughs> Making sample packs is not fun. I mean, the tracking and the getting the sounds is fun, but the editing, the logistics of the it, the naming, yeah, v- v- Velocity Seven natural damp you know it's like oh kill me dude it's <laughs> awful it took forever yeah dude it's great hanging out with you yeah thanks for doing the pod yes um i'll put links down below to his website and his channel and it's the sample packs on your website yep yep not sponsored not sponsored just because i'm showing something off and trying to help out a friend doesn't mean i'm getting paid to do it yeah the music industry pressured him the, i'm getting pressure from big big music tech aka andrew masters <laughs> <laughs> all right dude thanks for coming yes. by thank Great you man stuff. that's it guys uh subscribe like comment all that stuff check all the links down in the description it's just like so much energy in the track that transient design on them so i'm like deaf so i just crank them. <laughs>